To take apart your BlackBerry Torch 9800, you will first want to remove the battery back door cover. Just slide it down and it will pop right off. Next, remove the battery as well as the SIM card and SD card from the phone. Next, using a T5 screwdriver, you will remove four screws on the back housing. One of these screws is covered by a blue water indicator sticker. You will just go ahead and remove that screw as well. Once the four screws are removed, you will go ahead and take off the plastic bezel frame around the phone. Be careful as it is clipped into place by a few clips. After removing the bezel frame, you will notice that there are two more T5 screws on the top of the back housing. Remove these screws as well. After these two screws are removed, you will notice that another frame on the back housing will come right off. It is clipped into place, so you will need to use a little bit of force to pry it off. Next, using a T3 screwdriver, you will notice that five screws are placed under a little plastic shield. Once again, these are T3 screws and you will need a T3 screwdriver to remove these screws. With those screws removed, you will now remove three cables and one antenna ribbon. The first one is that antenna ribbon, and the next three flex cables will pry right off. Once these flex cables are removed, the board will come right off. Now you will separate the front housing from the back housing. Just be careful as there is a ribbon cable still attached, you will pull it through the middle and it will come right through. With the front screen separated, you are now going to remove four screws from the front screen. These screws are T3, and you will need a T3 screwdriver to remove these four screws. Once these screws are removed, you will notice that a little black plastic clip will come right off. You might have to flip the little frame upside down to take the plastic clip off. With the four screws removed, you will now slide the metal bracket down. Next, you will remove two T1 screws that are covered by a black plastic sticker. You will remove that sticker and remove those T1 screws. If you are unable to find a Torx 1 screwdriver, you could probably use a thin flathead screwdriver as long as it is micro sized. Torx 1 screwdrivers are very hard to find, unfortunately, and are not available at most home improvement stores. 
With the six screws from the back of the front housing removed, you will now use a safe pry tool to pry the screen off of the frame. Be careful as it is still connected by a flex cable ribbon. So you do not want to completely rip it off, but you do want to go around all sides to pry the actual screen from the bracket. After prying the screen off, you will notice that there are two more T3 screws covered by the actual screen. You will now need to remove these two T3 screws. Once these screws are removed, you will notice that the back cover slides right out. There is still the digitizer flex cable ribbon attached by a jawbone connector. You are going to want to go ahead and flip the jawbone connector towards you if it is facing the same way as in this video. Once that jawbone connector is removed, the digitizer flex cable ribbon is still attached by some adhesive. It will need a little bit of force to pop up and then pull right out. With the digitizer flex cable ribbon now on attach, you can pull the ribbon through the frame with the screen. Be careful as some adhesive might still be attached to your actual screen. Please be sure to visit us at InjuredGadgets.com for all your replacement parts and full service repairs. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.